Hello, in this video we're going to talk about abdominal aortic aneurysm. This is an overview and introduction. Here I'm drawing the descending aorta which comes from the aortic arch and the heart. The renal arteries come off the descending aorta and supply the kidneys. The majority of people with AAA are asymptomatic and often AAA is an incidental finding. If this is the case, it does require monitoring. 90% of AAAs start below the renal artery. 15% extend to the common iliac arteries. Let us have a closer look. So here is your abdominal aorta with an aneurysm below the kidney arteries, the renal arteries. In general, an aneurysm can be defined as an increase in 50% of the vessel's diameter. A AAA requires continuous monitoring. Large abdominal aortic aneurysm is defined as an aneurysm greater than 5.5 centimeters, and this requires treatment. If treatment is not done, the AAA can progress to a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. The clinical presentation of a ruptured AAA include unexplained rapid onset hypotension, back pain or loin pain, and sweating. Also, the AAA can rupture either anteriorly or posteriorly. Anteriorly, it can rupture into the peritoneal cavity or posteriorly into the retroperitoneal. Rupturing into the peritoneal cavity has a poorer prognosis. Let's take a closer look. So here is a cross section of the abdomen. This is the vertebrae, the bone, the aorta, and the inferior vena cava. This in front of the aorta is a peritoneal cavity where our intestines are. Behind here is the retroperitoneal area where our kidneys are, for example. If the AAA ruptures anteriorly into the peritoneal cavity, this is quite fatal. Rupturing posteriorly, however, into the retroperitoneal cavity, the patient can be transiently stable but will rapidly decline without surgery. Other complications of AAA, aside from rupturing, include death, renal failure because of decreased blood flow to the kidneys, lower limb ischemia, and mesenteric ischemia. Again, all of this is a, is, is a result of decreased, uh, um, decreased blood flow to the area, loss of blood. So what can be done? Well, in patients with large AAA, 5.5 centimeters or greater, an intervention is required. Surgery is indicated for patients with a triple A with a high diameter, which um, is rapidly growing when, when it's being monitored, and for those who are also symptomatic, so complaining of back pain, for example. The main surgery is an endovascular repair where a stent is inserted into the abdominal aorta that runs essentially through where the aneurysm is. The management of a ruptured AAA is an emergency and in summary requires resuscitation and surgery. Prophylactic antibody prior to surgery is also important. So the early management for non-surgical candidates, it's really palliative care and analgesia. For a free rupture, it's surgery. And also for a contained leak, it's also surgery. An example for surgery in, a, in the case of a ruptured AAA, a graft is used. So we have AAA graft repair. And this is essentially where the weak walls of the aorta is replaced with the graft. If surgery is not performed, the prognosis of a patient with a ruptured AAA is very poor. The risk factors for developing a AAA are those same risk factors for cardiovascular disease and include smoking, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, atherosclerosis, advanced age, male gender, and having a family history. 